Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, we're going to talk about the cycles, but I want to talk to you about some different things than are really what is out on the internet. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? So to get started, I want to let you know that your menstrual cycle is the tip of the iceberg. And this is particularly true of women, young women, older women, middle-aged women, butchy women, femi women, it doesn't matter how you are. If you have female parts, you're gonna be feeling this. So I wanna to talk to you about some of the things other people aren't talking about because in some ways they don't know. That's the difference between what I'm doing, what we're all doing here, and let's say Eastern philosophies of healing and Western philosophies of healing. We need to all work together and we need to harmoniously blend these. So let's jump right in here. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about are what I call the death throes. This is where your cycle gets all wobbly. It gets irregular, highly irregular sometimes. You can sometimes feel like there's weird aches and pains at times of the month when it isn't even happening and yet you're feeling it. You can feel like you're gushing and you're just saying, why, where is all this coming from? It can leave you feeling anemic. And so one of the things I do like to address is your nutritional needs while this is happening, while you are going through the death throes. And a lot of people go into some form of a desperation mode where they want to actually, um, you know, like beat their biological clock or something. That's also a part of the death throes. So the next thing is the dating patterns all change. They all change. It starts breaking down. You feel like you can't attract people. And here's the real paradox. It's the kicker. Younger people feel like they attract weirdos and older people start feeling like they're attracting younger people. And it's sometimes just a flirtation. It's sometimes like a little reminiscence of what you maybe missed out on or experienced, but it's all on the move. It's all moving along. The other thing is marriages from past lives. Oh boy, not everyone has had a good marriage. In fact, Marriage has been a necessity for women. Just watch any historical drama. You'll find out that a woman really wasn't anything unless she was married to a man. Sometimes it didn't even matter the quality of the man or who the man was. Sometimes as a person, sometimes what mattered was what were his alliances, his allegiances, his loyalties, his monetary status, his class status, all this other stuff. So all of those aspects can come up. The next thing is the cultural taboos and superstitions. These are things our ancestors passed down. Um, like in India, they have this thing, you can't eat a pickle while you're having that. And part of the rebellion there for women is that you just, you eat the pickle. I mean, they have signs all over, eat the pickle because they're pushing back and that's part of what is going on. Yet there is much more than this because there has been love, there has been loss, there's been a lot of dead end lives for women. A lot of women have never had a choice throughout history or you'd have to go way back in time to matriarchal societies to find the areas on the planet and in different cultures where did we have choices? Where did we have power? And I don't mean political power. What I mean is like influence, being a positive influence for good, not just popping out babies. A lot of women make this decision. Now we've had like laws overturned. We've had Roe v. Wade overturned and it's putting a lot of people in an uproar, but this is part of the shaking of the foundations. You are part of the stability. So What's happening? You know, we have, you know, couple number one here and he's so tired. In fact, he just wants to lay down and she's saying, get up, get up. Oh, I don't even, I don't feel okay. I feel kind of depressed. I just want to, I just want to lay down. I, I think I've got a migraine. You, you, you're finally, get up off your ass and get moving. Oh, and some of, some people want to tell this to their twin. Get up off your ass and get moving. Well, I'm here to tell you that 
when you pull up, the masculine will lean in. They're going to feel what they need to feel. They need to feel the guidance through you because you're in there. You don't need to feel all the ick from them. They need to feel all the good from you. That's how this works. So there are all the main symptoms, irritability, bloating, um, up and down moods. You know, you could feel hypersensitive. You could feel weepy. You could feel, where is all this coming from? Because it is not as simple as saying it's hormonal. The weight gain, the, um, you know, why do some people, they're more affected. Why do people, I, I worked with someone where she had a migraine every single month. She missed a week of work. I did the metrics once. I'm like, if she had taken, uh, let's say they decided not to pay her, that was the equivalent of about $200,000 worth of pay over a woman's life over, say, a 40-year span, which is how many women experience their period. What could you do with that kind of money? What if you were to invest it? What if you had your cycle only a few times a year and you felt good and you had the reverse of the loss of libido, you had love that is driving all of your lubrication, keeping your body parts vital and enlivened, the lower parts and the upper parts, your heart energy, your mind, you'd get rid of the brain fog, the irritability, feeling short-tempered, feeling angry and pissed off for no reason. This is real, people. And there's women and people walking around all over the place where, you know, they're just like, wow, I really feel taken advantage of you. People have been taking advantage of women for centuries, for eons of time. I guess you finally know how it feels. Well, I just don't feel okay. I don't feel okay. A lot of people don't feel okay. What if we got a lot of people to feeling better, to feeling more balanced? How would this ripple out to your daughters, your nieces? You know, we all have people we know, they think they're suffering from mental health, but this is ascension. Mental health is physiological health. It's not just like a separate part of you, like where your mind, there are tissues in there that operate and they are going through the death throes. So this is ascension. This is particularly twin flame ascension because it involves two people who need to align and coordinate. So what I'm here to tell you is I have a class where we are going to be covering this. We want to get your channels opened. We are going to talk about it. We're even going to talk about what people might think is silly stuff. Like where does coffee fit in with your menstrual cycles, your menstrual cycles and coffee? Some people notice that it makes them more irritable or tense or jittery or something like that. So what do you do if you really enjoy coffee or you have chocolate cravings? You know, there's a reason for the chocolate cravings. Hint, you might need a little copper and some other trace minerals, but you know, these are part of the death throes too. Part of the death throes is your tissues need building up. Do you want to live with the ill effects of, you know, what runs for your ancestors in your family? This is your opportunity to get with it because you have the survival paradox, okay? You may feel like you want to give up, but guess what? Your body is continually attempting to get better one way or another. That's how the immune system works. Even for people that have autoimmune stuff or they have some chronic thing like Hashimoto's, I know the reasons and the anchor spots for this. We are going to talk about uh, essential oil supplements. Okay, we're really going to get something going so that you start shifting with the shift and don't feel like you're being dragged along the bottom of the ocean here. Now, for those of you who do, um, you've had children. Yeah, your body's been stretched out. Your nerves might be a wreck. I've known people that have had 10 children, six children, 12 children, three children. I've had a child. It's very not relatable to people who maybe have never born a child. And I'm going to say to you, in this life, because your past life stuff is a part of that death row. You don't know if you died in childbirth. You don't know if there was birth traumas. You don't know if you yourself had birth traumas, but it's 
almost irrelevant because it's all tangled up together. We want to get rid of it and get you up and running with your brand new twin flame body template, the template of relationship from 5D, where you're sort of dangling from 5D, okay? You're being supported from 5D in several areas, from your heart and from other areas. You're not tied down to the earth with your root chakra and your hara and your sacral. Yet, another paradox, you can enjoy those areas with each other at the time that you do come together. Are you angry at your twin? Yeah, that's normal, except it's not because you can't linger in that anger. A lot of people are like, I'm so angry at that son of a gun. Why isn't he, 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 he getting it? Well, guess what? When you do you, the masculine follows suit. And take it from me that I'm, I'm not here to man bash. There's lovely men in my life who I care for deeply. Men are feeling this without a context because they haven't had their period every month, but they're feeling it. So I hope that you'll join me. Um, please check out the link. The link is below for my Twin Flame Channels and Reproductive for Ascension. Join my webinar. Please like and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to my channel. Send it to people you think can help. Be helped with this. And check out my website, Twin Flame Reconnection. Have a great day. Bye.